What's up guys, it's Peter from the Almost Painted channel and today is a very exciting day for me because I'm starting what I hope to be a great project that will be an ultimate boarding actions board not just only an interior that we got in Kill Team box sets but also the whole outer shell uh, that will be a diorama of a whole spacecraft so today is just an introduction I just want to show you the general idea, talk, talk a bit about inspiration and also show materials that I, that I will be using for main structure of the ship. And in the next episodes uh, you can see me constructing the whole model. So I hope it will be just a great project. So without further ado, let's start. So firstly, I want to show you my inspiration, which was this classic Battlefleet Gothic Space Marine battleship. So let's have a look at it. So we are looking at a Space Marine Battle Barge, which is their largest uh, battleship that they used in Space Warfare. So each of these ships are capable to transport three full Space Marine companies. So to make it clear, I don't want to make a model of the ship, but I want to use some key features and uh, use them for my much smaller vessel. So for example, I really like this front end because uh, it's wider than the middle section of the ship. My ship will also use this feature and uh, also these gun batteries that uh, protrude from the front. Another key feature are the shields that are ending the really small wings. This is another thing I want to use in my project. And the last uh, very classic thing about Battlefleet Gothic ships are the back sections, which are rising rapidly to the command bridge. And I will also try to make it uh, something like this style. So let's have a look at another picture from side profile. So here we very clearly see this cool shield. I can say that I will be doing a Dark Angels vessel. So there will be some symbols of their chapter on this side and also on the other one. And from this profile, we can clearly see that uh, the back end is slowly rising to the command bridge and I will also try to replicate it. I want to also show you a really cool render that I found on the internet, Black Templar's Eternal Crusader ship. It is a really cool and detail, detailed render that uh, was my first inspiration. So let's have a look from the other side. One another thing that I want to replicate are the engines that are covered behind the wings so so i think that this section will be very similar to to this battle barge and the last thing uh, that is very typical for battlefleet gothic barges are all those cathedrals and buildings and gun emplacements that are built on the surface of of the ship as, as I will be doing a much smaller vessel, uh, of course, I won't be able to, to put, put on top uh, some, some buildings, but I will try to replicate this uh, gothic style with arches and, and uh, this general 40k spaceship look. That's it when it comes to, to my inspiration. And now let's have a quick look at the plan of the ship. So I've made this really simple sketch to show the general layout of the ship. For perspective, there is one square, which is four by four inches. So identically to boarding action boards. So the ship is divided uh, into two main decks, lower and upper one. They are connected by two pairs of stairs and also two elevators in the middle. The front end of lower deck uh, is wider because on both sides there are loading ramps and also gunners emplacements. 
moving to the upper deck also on both sides there are hatchways so that uh, models can leave the ship at the end of upper deck there are once again stairs leading to command bridge which is elevated above the upper deck and below the command bridge you can access engine room through the moving gate so it is a place where all engine maintenance can be made there will be also some small wings ending with shields like uh, i showed you on on space marine battle barges and uh, under the wings there will be some engines so basically this is the whole idea for the ship and one final note these empty areas on lower and upper deck can be used uh, for placing all the boarding actions terrain so we can place it uh, anywhere we like in any configuration to create different missions the same idea as boarding action games so i think that's it for this uh, general layover explanation and now i would like to talk for a second about materials that i will be using okay so now let's talk uh, for a bit about materials that i am using for this board uh, it will be an old-fashioned style board so I will be using just uh, a typical materials from DIY shop. So an HDF board, some planks uh, and also some foam, foam core boards. So maybe firstly let's take a look at an HDF boards which will form the main two decks. So these uh, 70 by 80 centimeters boards will be will be set something like that. So they will form the first deck and also the second deck and they will sit something like that. So they, as I showed on the plan, they, they, they will be connected by the stairs and also by two elevators in the middle so it will look something like that and besides uh, those two big uh, boards that will form uh, the two main decks <coughs> I, have also, I also have some smaller ones so for example this uh, 25 by 25 centimeters uh, will form a command bridge a command deck that will be uh, sitting, sitting on top of uh, the second uh, level. Uh, besides uh, HDF, I will use some pine planks to form the frame of the board. They will also be reinforcing uh, the, the decks that will be mm, made of HDF boards. So I have a couple of... Uh, of Pine planks, some smaller ones that I will use for for columns and pillars. So I have some mm, rectangular ones and also some with uh, round profile. So the frame of the whole ship will be basically made of only HDF boards and mm, planks connected by regular screws so it will be a very simple structure and for some other details for interior and uh, exterior i have a couple of foam core boards which are always perfect for this type of uh, diy uh, projects so uh, it is basically um, the whole list of materials that will be used for for the main structure so in the next video i will show you how i use these materials to form the frame of the ship and also the main structure so if you are interested uh, by this project please subscribe and also click the notification bell so that you get uh, an info when when there is an update on this project so I hope this is a start for a great journey. I have never made so ambitious terrain project. So 
I cannot predict what will be the final result. So stay tuned. See you next time.